Official day one of the transformation we are doing blood sugar and blood pressure. Alright, so we just got blood work done and now we're finally breaking the three day fast, although Tony kinda of already broke it for us. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh my god, they get so much of this. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Oh, dessert later, right? Yeah. What do I do for fun? Um, definitely like to go out to eat. Uh, in the cars, I have a Dodge Charger. My friends all have cars. We go to car meets and stuff. Um, yeah, cars, lifting, and I also am a video game guy. I haven't really been playing a lot recently, but I do build all my computers. I'm kind of a computer nerd. So, yeah, and cinematography, obviously, because I love making videos, I love making content. That's a big passion of mine. Those are pretty much the things I do for fun. Uh, what's your favorite dad starts tomorrow for you? Favorite guy starts tomorrow. Probably cereal, honestly. If I had to pick one thing to cheat on, it would be cereal. I never can get enough freaking cereal. Especially like the real sugary cereal. Uh, who's your... Who's your celebrity crush? <laughs> See, that's why. Who, who do you... Like, who do you think has a great physique? Someone that like you kind of like, you kind of look up to and you're like, wow, this guy has a great physique. So the physique I like because I'm a taller, lankier dude. You know, I don't really, I'm like, I'm, a, I'm six foot, so I'm not, you know, the high, most bodybuilders are around 5'8 to 5'10. And I'm six foot with long wings, so I like Chris Bumstead's physique. I think his physique's insane for his age and he's accomplished so much. At the age he has, and yeah, that's my favorite physique currently on the pro circuit. If you had a if you had to work out with one girl in the fitness industry, who would it be? If I had to work out with one girl in the fitness industry, it'd probably be Dana Lynn Bailey, just because I want to see how hard she goes. Because she went so hard that she had to go to the hospital. That's how hard she was trained. So I want to see one of her sessions live, and she's local in Pennsylvania. Uh, favorite place to travel? Favorite place to travel? Probably Miami. I love South Beach. That's where I go and chill most of the time. Alright, so today's day one of the transformation. So we did three days of fasting, no food at all, only water. And we broke the fast today. So we got our blood work done before the fast was broken. And then we we did our shots. We did our shots. Then we did we did our shots, followed up by getting blood work done, and now we went to Denny's, and now we're here. So this will be the first workout, and yeah, I just got done breaking a three-day fast. That was personally the first time I ever fasted, let alone three days, so I'm still kind of mentally happy. But Coach Trevor assures that we'll be super receptive to all the compounds, all the food, and I'm probably going to be sick of eating by day three anyway. We have to shovel in six to seven thousand calories of actual food food a day, which will get pretty tedious. All right, what is up, everyone? First training session of the enhanced seven day transformation. So, this is after three days of no eating and flying from Sacramento or from Pittsburgh to Sacramento, and I only had that Denny's meal in me that you saw. So, we got blood work done. We did blood pressure, fasted glucose in the morning. We went to a um, blood work place, got the blood work done before eating. That way, the whole point of the fast was to get the most accurate blood work and to make the androgen receptors super receptive and the body super receptive to the calorie influx to try and create as much progress as possible. 
I weighed in at 204, so I lost even more weight. And overall, man, after, after day two of this fast, my mental clarity, my mental fog started coming on insanely hard. It was, it was brutal to maintain a conversation. I was forgetting things. I just wasn't able to operate even close to 80% mental capacity. So if you're going to try fasting, definitely only um, do it for a day. I think a day fast was pretty easy for me. But day two and three, I was starting to lose it a bit. But it made me super receptive to all the calorie influx. And, I mean, you'll see me blow up. My face looks super lean, super good. Everything looks um, cut, but, like, flat and natty looking. And as the cycle continues this week, you'll see me balloon up into a moon. Yes. Yes, whatever ratio you want, those should hold together. <laughs> How many kids? Uh, two kids. How many kids? I got no raw stuff, so yeah, we got this one. Probably a cost, probably. Uh, probably not. I don't think you would get that. You don't think you'd get raw? Got back from the buffet. Now it's time to nap. This is where all the growing takes place. Four hour nap, and then we're going to train again. Hopefully, I'm more fuller, have more energy, have more strength again. Flew across the country, fasted, and, you know. I'm jet lagged on top of everything. Stomach has shrunk from not eating for two days, so it's kind of hard. I hope my stomach starts expanding so I can shovel down more food. But now we're going to nap. This is where the growing takes place. And, you know, the protocol does its job with the recovery. Honestly, feel I'm um, still super weak, like I said, on the voiceover from the flights and being fasted for three days. So. Hopefully I'm filled out stronger, probably within the next two days of this transfer. Whoa, Russo, you're back. I got this. I met Russo four years ago, he was 18 years old. Now he's 23. Wow, he's is strong. After my nap and binging on calories when I got home, you know, I felt a lot better, a lot more back to normal. And as you can see from just the, just the five hour difference in muscle fullness from, you know, when you, when, when you don't eat for three days, like you're going to go flat, you're going to look like garbage. I don't get like why people in my before video are expecting me to look full as fuck when I was literally starving myself. Like, there was no glycogen going on whatsoever. But, you know, this workout, I felt more back to normal. My strength was coming back. And I wasn't fatigued in between sets. But already, first side effect I remember is I was cramping up like crazy um, during this. So, that is most likely from the injectable SARM that the cycle was utilizing, which is LGD. And if you guys have experience with your lab rat with high dose LGD, you know, I get the cramping all the time, but with injectable, it's, it's so apparent. It's, 
ridiculous. I was getting ridiculous pumps again, and everything was starting to kick in, but I still wasn't completely there, well, cal calorically speaking, you know. I went home and ate more, and the next day was probably the highlight of the cycle before all the side effects started kicking my ass. So yeah, had a, f a lot of fun first day. Um, <laughs> this whole trip was insane, it was crazy. I appreciate, every appreciate everyone who's watching it, and I hope you guys learned something from it and see what's possible in one week. You know, I'm not going to make any claims or anything, I'm just showing exactly what happened. Alright, workout number two done. Finishing up with GI. feel a lot better after that nap. feel back to myself, my strength is back. So, yeah. Definitely, first session was a wash, but this session I tried to make up for it and get a lot of volume in. And as I get acclimated to being on the West Coast, as well as, you know, all these compounds and stuff, I'll start to go heavier. But I might get really strong really fast, I don't know. But right now I'm just focusing on filling back out because I dropped a fuck ton of weight from that fast. 219 to 204.6. So, as you can see, I'm talking faster because fast is over. I feel amazing. Carbs in my brain, baby. 